Good evening and welcome to the Job Search Solution, the radio program where we talk about looking for a job, changing jobs, changing careers, hiring. And as always, we begin with a prayer. Dear God, grant us thy peace and thy mercy. Thy will be done. Uh, the last time we were together uh, in the video portion of this, we were discussing practical spirituality, some of the things you can do from a practical point of view to help your spirit out, especially if you are looking for a job or actually going through any kind of um, other emotional challenge, but especially in looking for a job. And I've discovered these since 1973. And I write a lot about them in the Job Search Solution, our online program, and in all of my books. And it's a matter of spiritually giving so that you can spiritually receive. Last time we got together, we talked about being grateful, being nice, creating flow, and practicing forgiveness. This evening, I want to talk about prayer. Now, I, it could be contentious with a lot of people, but you need to start a prayer intentions list as there's two or three issues that you need to know about prayer. I don't claim to be an authority on it. I do it a lot because I'm in a spiritual business, uh, more than anything, a spiritual business. But I'm reminded of the story of the guy that got down on his knees and prayed to win the lottery. And every night he would get on his knees to pray to win the lottery. Dear God, let me win the lottery. Please let me win the lottery. And he did this for a year and two. And finally, one evening, a big boom came out of the sky. And a voice said, you first have to buy a ticket. And it reminds me that if you are in a job search, you got to have a lot of activity. You just can't simply pray all the time and do no activity. You got to buy a ticket. You got to get lots of interviews. You got to perform well on those interviews. And you have to work really, really hard. You've got to take massive action. Prayer by itself is not going to get you a job. I absolutely guarantee it. The second thing about prayer that's important is that you pray for process, not outcome. Praying to win the lottery isn't going to help you win the lottery. Buying a ticket, of course, is. Praying that you get a job isn't as important as praying for you the opportunities to interview and praying that you do well on the interviews. Pray for the process, not the outcome. I'm reminded, as we all know, we go to all kinds of sporting events. You got half of the people in the stands praying for one group and half of the people in the stands praying for the other. Don't pray for outcome. Pray for process. Dear God, help me do my best in every kind of endeavor, every kind of opportunity, every type of interview that I get. Help me do my best that I go out and put my best fit forward, that I interview really well, that I follow up well, that I focus on the process. If you focus on the process, the result's going to take care of itself. You've heard me say that thousands of times. Praying for the process is what's most important. Praying for the outcome, well, you can do it, but then you can get awfully disappointed when the outcome doesn't come your way. So remember that. The other thing about prayer is start a prayer or intentions list. You don't want to call it prayer, call it intentions. Pray for other people that are worse off than you. Pray for the people that have in these days the coronavirus. Pray for people that are much uh, more unfortunate than you. And there are millions of people that are unfortunate, more unfortunate than you are. Praying for yourself is one thing. But it's really just as important to pray for other people, probably more so. We have a prayer list in our organization. And every time we run into somebody who's experienced a death in their family or an illness in their family, we put their name on our prayer list. And every one of us here in the organization, whether we're real big on prayer or just intentions, 
does a lot of prayer for those people and acknowledge and hope for them and help them do their best. Meditation. Meditation is a little different than prayer. Meditation is following and finding peace within yourself in quiet moments. I heard it say one time that when you pray, you speak to God. When you meditate, God speaks to you. Now, I'm a big believer in meditation. I've been doing it since the 60s, every single day, just calming yourself for a period of 20 minutes, uh, focusing on your breath, a mantra, but somehow it does take a while to learn it. Uh, and it takes a while for it to really take hold and for it to really um, have an impact in your life. But I can't tell you how um, important meditation can be and develop a habit of doing it. One of the biggest challenges in meditation is to learn to do it over a long period of time. I have to admit that it takes about a year, year and a half for the benefits to really start um, uh, blooming and really start growing. What most people do is they meditate and then they stop because they don't think it's doing any good for them. All right, we're going to take a short break. Stay tuned. This is Tony Bashara with the Job Search Solution. 